Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again and I'm back with um, a treat, a 10 minute treat for you and this is number 11. Um, I've been making these wicked little baskets. I saw one on the internet but no measurements, no blog. So I just uh, went away and sussed it. That's done by a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. It's really big. This one is done by a 9 by 9. So I'm going to do an even smaller one with you and perfect I thought, you know, to fill these with little fun sized treats for uh, Easter which is coming up shortly. This one will hold loads and I mean loads and they're just the cutest little things ever. Now this cardstock is really really thick and it's stuff I get from the range but so I use that for practice. So this I'm going to use is Stampin' Ups and it's the... Uh, needle point nook and this time I'm going to do a little 6 by 6 one. Uh, my handle is a bit too long I think. No it's 10. That's perfect. This is 2 inches scored at 1. I'm just going to fold and we're going to glue that together for the handle. But it's so simple to make and you could pop these out to a penny. I'm going to put it on the side where you can see the score lines and because it, it's 6 you need to divide it by 3 so it's 2, 4, 6. The 9 is 3 and 6. Um, and the 12 by 12 is 4 and 8 so you're just going to score this at 2 and 4 and then turn it and score at 2 and whoops that went over and 4 uh, and that's it I'm going to do a little bit of folding in a minute so let me just make sure I've got that proper score line there that's the one so you just make burnish your score lines that's perfect. And this one, this side, and then these. Just the quickest, most simplest thing, but absolutely stunning. The large one, perfect for Easter. Get, you know, you get selection boxes now at Easter. You could open it up, put some ready shreddy in the bottom or over the top and just fill it with little candy bars and chocolate eggs and stuff like that. And then you could put some tissue on the top or some reddish ready. So you've got your nine squares now. And what you're going to do is fold this side over first. Put your nail right in there and then fetch that up to the corner. You've seen us do um, cards, uh, other bags like this. And you're going to push that right up against that score line there. And then crease inside. And if I guess that seems to be off on that corner. Just make sure you get the corner perfect. Fetch that up. That's better. And then you can crease with, with your finger. Well, it seems to be off, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. Perfect, that side. So, once you've done it that side, just turn it this side now. You're going to do it top and bottom, top and bottom. Again, push your nail. You can use your bone folder even into the corner, right along there, and fetch this up. And again, make sure it comes all the way up to the top of the score line, unless my paper shifted whilst I've been cutting it. That's more better. That's better. It's a better piece. Like that, so it's along the edge. Open it out and then do the same this side. For some reason, you've got to get it right in that corner. That's better. And then you can push that down as well. I'm going to check my paper for some reason. I always find when I cut it on the trimmer, see a tiny little fraction over, and that, that one's not it's perfect. I always score, I always cut upwards because uh, I find that your paper can move. So again, I'm going to fetch that up. 
See how, I mean, it's slightly longer on one side. And yet it's definitely in that corner there. And right along that edge as well. Perfect. You see, look, oh, it's, that fits lovely. That fits lovely. I mean, you could even do a little tucky, tucky thing now and tuck it in there and there if you want. Just staple the sides. We're going to go one better. We are now going to pull these up to here to make that little basket. So to do that, I got my hole punch. And I'm just going to punch a tiny little hole on each corner bit now. Perfect. And I've got some of this beautiful green linen thread that goes with this set. And you're literally not going to need a lot at all. Snip it. You'll only need that piece because you're going to pull everything together. So just come in from the back. Thread this through. And because it's small, just pull it together. You can give it a quick little tie there if you want. And then you're going to pull these sides through. So that's going to come up to there. Oops. Pull that up. And then this side. You're going to put around there. Look it through your hole. Missed. <laughs> there we go. And you're going to pull that tight as well. Just tie them in knots. You can do it longer if you want and then just trim off. So all those four corners join together. I'm just going to tie it off in a little double knot and trim that. So you, it's just basically just so you, you can't really well you, you can see it on the others, but you just need to sew them together, sort of thing. Isn't that the cutest little box you've ever seen? I think that's adorable. Now, for my handle, I'm going to cut this down, actually. I'm going to chop this in half. I'm going to use my guillotine. Oh, it's a little bit long. Oh, so let me get my trimmer. This is one inch. I'm going to cut it down to one inch. I'm going to make sure it's lined up perfectly. Trim up. Perfect. I've left this about 10. Whoops. And I like a nice long handle. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut that in half. I was going to uh, score it and fold it. But I think I'm going to cut it like I did my other two handles. And then I just added tape. You can have a contrasting handle now, so the green is on the outside, or you can keep it together. It's entirely up to you. You can take, look, see? See? Ah! Oh. I'm going to cut another piece. I don't know if it's just me, or does it happen to everyone? Because... One seems, that seems perfect. Oh, that's shorter as well. Oh my word. Oh, 
look, see? The trimmer's out. It must be my trimmer. It is out. Well, they fit better. Better. Oh, we'll get there in the end, lasses. <laughs> Perfect, and I've got some half inch tape. I found it was better with the tape on the others because I was man I managed to stick them down as well perfectly. I'll show you what I did. But if you want to just score this, at, uh, cut it down to one, score it in half, or just fold it in half even. Make sure the sides touch. So I'm going to peel back just a little bit. And I'm going to put this onto the side. And then I'm going to stop this from spinning. Touch that edge to edge. And I'm just going to pull a little bit at a time and glue that down. Perfect. Beautiful. Give that a good deer in. And we're going to be running our bone folder down it anyway, just to help with the curving. Perfect. Now I've got my Sukwang tape. It's absolutely mega strong. And I'm going to add some tape here. I'm going to have about three pieces high. Oops. Straighten it. I should have curved it afterwards, didn't I? So there's three pieces high on that side. And I'm going to have three pieces high on this side. And then we're going to eyeball it. I'm going to use this as a handle. Yeah, sticky tape on first. <laughs> and then shape it. You could use wet glue and hold it into place. You could use tear tape, it's up to you. I love this stuff, it's so sticky. Just give that good bearing down. And it comes off by its own self. It's so strong. I love the fact the backing comes off so easy. So just grab your little basket now. And just eyeball it in the centre and just pass that glue line and give it a good squishing down and then remove your tape off here I'll try, well I suppose you could do it 10 by 10 but you'd have to really rigorously work that out in centimetres probably to get it level at three places so 33.3 3 .333 recurring <laughs> but uh, you want to be able to dis oh, just look how cute that little basket is isn't that adorable that is so cute that's it that's our basket that's beautiful I'm going to save those little strips I will make something with those just gorgeous making sure everything's in shot Whoops! my camera stand keeps moving so there's our little 6x6 one just if you wanted you could add a little bit of glue in there as well let's see what we've got in our little pot I've got a butterfly 
We could just oh let's get some decoration on here. Love it. This is so cute. And it's green as well. Just lift those wings up. Isn't that cute as a button? Oh, I love it. I got some little ones there. I got some oh, little silver ones. We could pop some on the handles. Oh, that is just so cute. I've only got silver ones left now. So let's get these on my tub. I'm going to take two of those. And I've got little flowers. I always keep this little tub. My, oh, there we go. <laughs> My score body was re leaning against. Oh, look at that. It's gooing out. Oh, heck. I need to relieve the pressure. I'm going to take unscrew the lid. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't. It's glued. It's so tight. Oh, there it goes. Oh, just relieve a little bit of pressure. That stops that light suction thing from coming up. Oh, gosh, look at all that glue there. Add some on the handles just for a little bit of decoration. Beautiful. I'm just get rid of that glue off my finger. It will dry clear and it will not dry sticky either. So I'm going to pop another one on this side. That is just the cutest. We've got our butterfly there and little ones on the handle. Isn't that app? I mean, I only just made these four prototypes, but you could decorate them up beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. I use white baker's twine on this. Just gorgeous. And white on this one. I love the size of this one. Lola would love that for the candy. I tell you now, she'd be in her oils. I might give that to Lola actually. Come this Easter with a little Easter goodies in off Nanny and Bump. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to grab some more of my baker's twine as well. It's not baker's twine, it's linen thread actually. I do love this stuff. Make sure your little knot is in the centre before you pull it tight. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And there then, I only get that little tiny bit of waste there. Isn't that great? I love that bowl maker. And then you could add a little bow somewhere on your handle maybe. Oh yes, got to be done. Got to be done. Love this needlepoint nook as well. Oops, I'm just going to hold that into place for a minute. Doesn't take long to go off at all. There you go, it's on. And it's not coming off. And you can just run your nails down, kill those little ends up. Isn't that cute? So again that looks like a little butterfly with this little antenna. Little hand a little bow on the handle. Isn't that cute? I love it. So there is my little Easter baskets ready to fill with little mini Cadbury's eggs or chocolate bars oh there are my coffees here girls mm. 
absolutely fabulous. I love it. Love it. I've been making loads of these. Just adorable. But yeah, if you're doing the 12 by 12 or the 9 by 9, leave the handles at one inch. Cut two one inch strips and glue them together. That way you can see the pattern underneath as well. I mean, obviously this it's plain on the inside, but once that's full of chocolate, and then I just eyeballed it on the sides and just stuck it just below that glue line on both sides. And they are 12 by 12. And this is nine by nine. And the same with the handle on here. It's not as tall as this one, but it's doing the trick. And again, double sided so you, you can see right through. Again, eyeball the center and just glue these into place. They're very strong boxes. So 12 by 12, nine by nine, six by six. How cute. Oh my gosh, I can't even get the, the 12 by 12 one in. There we go. 12, nine and six. You could take that down to even further. You could do that three by three and have a little dinky one. Can you imagine that on a, uh, a table as a wedding favor? They'd be so cute. Little flower girls with petals inside. And then just all Easter treat, little Easter baskets for Easter treats. So there you go, there's another little 10 minute treat for you. I hope you enjoy. I would love a thumbs up and a share, that would be amazing. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I do post uh, 11 times a week now. Um, I may have to curb it a little bit. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't do that. I love it too much. So, if you want to see what I make tomorrow, don't forget to press the little bell straight after you've subscribed and you'll be notified of all future videos. Till next time. Love you all. Bye.